Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 7, Lesson 6, and today we are solving problems using mixed units of capacity, where we have to convert back and forth between different units. All right, um, some of these are pretty straightforward and some of these are kind of tricky, so let's get a, let's get a look at a few of them and hopefully that'll be a, enough to give you a foothold into climbing this uh, homework wall yourself. Okay, let's take a look at number one. Problem number one asks us to determine the following sums and differences and to show your work. I'm going to do two problems here on number one, and we'll see uh, how that goes for you then. So one of the problems we've got here uh, on number one is like D, which is a, a subtraction problem, right? We've got three gallons, and we have to subtract two quarts. And of course, those are unlike units. So we need to figure out how is it that we're going to break down gallons to make quarts. And we know that there are four quarts in a gallon, and so we know that we can do this. We can take our three gallons and break it into two gallons and four quarts, right? Uh, let's see, we'll do QT. And if we had two gallons and four quarts, then it would be much easier for us to subtract two quarts from four quarts. In fact, we can just do that one as mental math now. We've got two gallons left, two gallons, and we had four quarts, we subtracted two quarts, and that'll leave us two quarts. <laughs> Done. Not too hard, huh? Let's take a look at uh, problem number 1F. Problem number 1F asks us, hey, what if we had two quarts and three cups, and we added five cups? How many quarts would we have then? Oh, okay, well, let's try that out. Let's see, we, if we added the cups together, that's three cups plus five cups, that would make eight cups, and we have two quarts. So... I don't know, I'm thinking maybe we're not done, because look at that, answer is just in quarts. So let's look at this. Eight cups. Well, we know that there's two cups in a pint, so we know that eight cups are the same as, let's see, eight cups are the same as four pints, right? Oh, and we know that there's two pints in a quart, right? So let's see, so two, four, so four pints would be the same as two quarts. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we've got two quarts and two quarts, right? Two quarts here and then two quarts that we created out of combining the three cups and the five cups. That looks like we've got four quarts. Four quarts. Huh. There we go. All right. Let's take a look at a couple more problems. Problem number two asks us to find the following sums and differences and to show our work. And again, I'd like to do problems D and F on the more difficult end of it. So let's take a look at problem D. Problem D says, what if we had 11 gallons, 3 pints, and we subtracted 4 gallons, 6 pints? What would we end up with? Well, the problem we're going to have here, right, as you can see, is it's easier enough for us to subtract 4 gallons from 11 gallons, but we can't really subtract 6 pints from 3 pints. We need more pints. So let's break this down. We're going to break down 11 gallons into 10 gallons, and let's see, I guess that would be 4, oh, wait, four quarts or eight pints, right? Eight pints. Awesome. So now we have a slightly different problem, right? Now we have eight pints here plus three pints here. We have 11 pints, and now we can do our subtraction. If we have 11 pints that we start off with and we subtract six of them, that would leave us with five pints. And we now have 10 gallons minus four gallons. That will give us six gallons. So again, by taking the unit, the larger unit, gallons and breaking it down, in this case, breaking it down twice, right? We break down a gallon all the way down into pints. We can create enough pints so that we can do our subtraction. Awesome. Uh, let's look at problem F. Problem F is an addition problem. Eight gallons, six pints, plus five gallons, four pints. Well, again, let's add our like units together. Uh, we've got our eight gallons and our five gallons, so that's 13 gallons. And then how many pints do we have? We have six pints here and four pints there. That's 10 pints. But one of the things we know is that there's eight pints in a gallon, so let's see. We've got more than a gallon's worth of pints, so let's break this down into eight pints and two pints, right? Because the eight pints is the same as one gallon, and now we can combine that gallon with our 13 other gallons to give us 14 gallons, and we've got our two remaining pints over here and two pints, and that is our sum. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more problem tonight. Problem number four. Grace and Joyce follow the recipe in the table to make a, to make a homemade bubble solution. Oh, a homemade bubble solution. All right. We're going to read, draw, and write, and we're already reading. How much, of the, how much solution does the recipe make? Oh, let's take a look at their homemade bubble solution. It has ingredients. Oh, water, dish soap, and corn syrup. That's pretty straightforward. And it has amounts. Two gallons, three pints, two quarts, one cup and two cups. Wow. 
what a mess in terms of amounts, right? We have gallons, we have quarts, we have pints, and we have cups. Oh boy. So in a straightforward way, we're going to just add all these things together because we're just going to, if we can imagine pouring them all into a bottle, we're going to have two gallons, we're going to have three pints, we're going to have two quarts, we're going to have one cup, and we're going to have two cups. Okay, now we need to start combining and see if we can combine some of these things. Let's see. The two cups right here make a pint, right? So I'm going to say that those things together make four pints, right? Four pints. So now we've got two gallons, four pints, two quarts, and one cup. Okay, what else? Let's see. Um, well, two, four pints itself makes two quarts, right? Each two pints makes a quart, so that makes two quarts. So actually, this and this make four quarts. So now we have, let's see, we've got our two gallons. Our pints has become quarts. So the pints, pints, and these two cups that became pints have become four quarts. And we still have that one cup left over. But I'm noticing something else, which is that four quarts is the same as a gallon. So we can combine our two gallons here and our four gallons, I'm sorry, our four quarts there to make three gallons. And that means we've got three gallons right here, and we've still got that one cup left. So my read, write, roster, read draw, write strategy would conclude with, uh, it makes, the recipe makes three gallons and one cup. Awesome. So all of these other things get combined away, right? The pints get combined with this pint, they become quarts, that pairs with this quart to become an extra gallon, and all that's left over is that little cup. So we have three gallons and one cup, three gallons and one cup. And that gives us a, a head start into how we're going to answer the B question, which I'm not going to do with you. How many more cups of solution would they need to fill a four-gallon container? Oh, okay, so we have three gallons and one cup all ready to go from our recipe, and they're th saying how much more space is there in that four-gallon container. So we'd have to figure out how many more cups do we need to make that happen. I'm going to leave that part for you uh, now that we've done 4A together. Okay? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.